All right, switching gears now. This is it. The last day of our celebration of the gorge, and that means the last round of these gorgeous photos. Oh, they've been so great. Thank you so much for sharing those with us. They've been incredible. We've been showing them off all week long. It's also the last day of Chief Meteorologist Metz Fino's road trip through the gorge. Hate to point that out for you, buddy, but it's <laughs> wrapping up in Cascade Locks. <laughs> I know, Tracy, it's so sad that it's coming to an end because it really has just been a privilege and a pleasure to visit all of these places through the gorge, visit with the folks here, and bring those images and stories back to you. It really has been great. Right now, I am at, we moved off of Thunder Island itself, and we're at Thunder Island Brewery, and we got a tour inside. Check it out. Another great location in the gorge that makes fine libations and spirits. This is just another classic Oregon brew house. Really, really great stuff, and uh, the brewmasters, were kind enough to uh, pour some for me. Get, it doesn't get any fresher than that. That's coming right out of the cask, or the, what's it called? The tank, right out of the tank. Just absolutely tasty beer. And again, they're busy working here. They've got a lot of folks, and you have to see this patio scene out here too. Check this out. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at this. We've got just folks at picnic tables, and the river is right there. Thunder Island, where I was, was just over there to this side. So it's really, really just a great scene, and the food is great, too. Joining me now is Caroline Park, the owner, one of the owners, of Thunder Island Brewery. And Caroline, so great to be here. Tell me, first of all, the patio scene. How long does this go? How many more weeks do we have? Oh, we're hoping at least to the end of October. Depending on the weather. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Now, of course, we've been talking about the Eagle Creek wildfire and its impact on the gorge. And you were, you know, front and center here in Cascade Locks when that burned. Uh, what was it like for you being here when that was going on? It was pretty frightening. Uh, we had to close our business doors for a couple of weeks, um, close to a month, really. And then we had to evacuate our home. It was it was just scary. Yeah, that's intense. But you've recovered, and what is your feeling about it now, about how the whole thing has, has transpired and moved forward? Uh, I, we're grateful. We're grateful that no one was hurt. We're grateful that, you know, the forest, it's emerging. It's really cool. If you go hike Dry Creek Falls right now, you can see all of the new growth coming up, and it's exciting, and we're just grateful. Well, thanks for hosting us. We really appreciate it. And since we're here in Cascade Locks, there is a special screening on Sunday, just two days from now, from a new documentary on the Eagle Creek Fire called Forest on Fire. It's at the Ale House, right? And they're your buddies? Yep, Cascade Locks Ale House right on Wanapah Street, and uh, we're really looking forward to this screening. That's at 8 o'clock. I talked to Liz Fitzgerald, who was the woman who reported the fire when it first started. She's in the documentary documentary and she really highly encourages people to go see it because it tells the story uh, through all the emotions and the nuts and bolts of it as well as to how the fire went down. So Caroline, thanks for having us here at Cascade Law or sorry at um, Thunder Island.